American Tea Party in the heart of America's capital. The Tea Party has progressed from being seen as a marginal movement to now having elected US senators and congressmen. It's a movement that few can politically afford to ignore. The Obama administration may have turned its focus increasingly to foreign policy issues, but it's still domestic issues which bring people out to protest. Here at uh, Washington DC Tea Party, there are thousands who are protesting against domestic policies. This is the last Tea Party of several that have been held across the states in different cities. And this one coincides with tax day and is held opposite Constitution Avenue. And those are the sort of words that get people fired up at the moment in the states. But what brings people to the Tea Party movement? It has attracted people opposed to issues ranging from bailouts to healthcare reform, from taxation to big government, and from immigration to international organizations. Can you tell me why you're here today? Uh, I'm here actually to support the Tea Party because I think the principles that it espouses are uh, ones that uh, we've lived by for a number of years and we need to get back to. I came because I'm a huge supporter of the fair tax, which is legislation to completely reform the way we collect taxes in America. And I was hoping there'd be more uh, speakers that would refer to that and get people fired up for that concept. Everything else that I'm hearing is not really what I'm into. Can you tell me why you came here today? Um, because I'm a Jeffersonian Democrat, and I believe fully in the Constitution, literally. And I see, a, see my party uh, split between those of the Jefferson Democrat that are my type, and I believe there's a wing of socialists that have taken over the, my party. And I'm here to, to uh, echo what these people are saying. The Constitution is sacrosanct. How will the Tea Party's opposition to President Obama's domestic issues translate into its attitudes to his foreign policies? Do you feel that what you feel about the domestic policies of the administration will influence how you feel about its foreign policies too? Um, not necessarily. I think they're different. Uh, they're a different kettle of fish, and I, I think most Americans sort of uh, band together when we get into international affairs. But I think on the domestic scene, we need to stay strong so that we can be active on the international scene as well. And you don't see any link between the two? For example, a lot of money has been spent on operations abroad. You don't feel that that money should be saved to help the domestic situation? Well, I think we've benefited a number of people overseas with our spending. Um, I'd certainly like to see it end, but the threats need to end as well. Do you feel that your opposition to what's happening in domestic policies will transfer to what the president does abroad and his foreign policies. Oh, absolutely. Uh, because we, like it or not, are the world leader, defense and otherwise, anything we do, if we sneeze, oft times Europe catches a cold. And anything we do affects it. But because you're opposed to what he's doing domestically, you would oppose what he does? I definitely oppose his foreign policy. On what grounds? Uh, I think he is trying to... I'm not sure exactly what he's trying to do, but he's pulling back rather than taking on the responsibility as the true world leader. Do you think that the people who have a problem with him on the domestic front will automatically have a problem with his foreign policies as well? If they take the time to think about it, um, probably not, because there's been some, some interesting developments going on in the foreign front. But Everyone here is very fixated on the domestic front, the jobs, the, the, the energy, and, and the, now today the taxes. So it's difficult to outline exactly what is an average Tea Party member, or how they would react to foreign policy issues. What is clear is that although its numbers may have risen, the Tea Party remains a work in progress.